Welcome to the second video in A2 Fortnite um, and where we're going to start and develop Asteroids which is a retro game. The first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to scroll down to A2 Fortnite and you'll need to look under um, the two videos, there will be one turning up here and you will find an activity sheet. If you click on that it will open up an activity sheet. You also can prepare the images you will need by clicking on the Asteroids graphics here, opening up uh, the window and then going back a space to the download and basically copying the asteroid or you want to cut or copy it and put it in your document um, file here. Uh, once you've copied it in there, you can uh, open it up and extract all here. Once you've done that then you should have a folder with all the asteroid, uh, the asteroid pictures and the space shuttle pictures you're going to use in the game as well as the space station that we're going to introduce in this lesson. The next thing you want to do then is open up Visual Studios um, a new project and name it Asteroids. Okay, now I'm going to call this 2014 and I'm going to put this as uh, Teach 1. Um, you can put different versions on yours so that you've always got different versions. Now make sure you've selected um, Visual C Sharp and Windows Form Application, not Console. Windows Form Application and press OK. Okay, now some of you may not have the property window down in this corner here. So uh, just click on the form once, go to view and select property window. Um, and now what you need to do is start to follow the worksheet. So basically what I would do is copy so here it says set the size property from sev to 700 and 550 on the form. So go back here, click on the form, go down to the size property and remember it was changed to 700 by 550. Okay, and then press OK. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to change this bit up here so that it um, says asteroids, basically. So we, um, if you want to get that right, you just go to the worksheet. Um, and first of all, we need to change the uh, name of the form there. And go up to the form because we're going to be using this later and you go to the name property, it's in brackets and change it from form 1 to form and then scroll down to find the text property and change that I'm just going to copy that from there and change that on the property from uh, form 1 to asteroids. Now notice I had a space there. If you find that your properties don't go in you might have a space at the start or the end so you need to delete those rogue spaces and if you've done it right you should see up there that it's got asteroids and the form should be named form asteroids. Okay that's the first thing and the next thing it says on the worksheet here is change the back colour to black so that's a back colour to black. So you go to properties, it's in alphabetical order and you find the property back colour. Now click on that, drop down menu and go to custom and select the black. Okay um, and now you've changed the back colour to black. 
Now what we're going to do is using the Visual Studio's Power Pack, we're going to add a number of stars. We're going to add some stars to the form. So basically, you go back to Visual Studio's, open the toolkit, close down all of the tabs apart from Power Pack, and then drag and drop an oval shape onto the form. Now you notice that all you you can't actually see the oval because it's a black line and a transparent background. So we need to, as instructed um, on the form, you need to first of all go down to back color, change the custom um, color to white, but you see it hasn't turned white. So you go down to the style and change it from transparent to opaque. Now. Then you go down to its size property and change it to say um, 8 by 8. Press enter and then we get our first star. Then you use, make sure you select it first, so click on it, and use control C and then control V to copy it. Now don't drag and drop it because it will distort the star. Just use the hold the control key down and press the right or left um, up and down arrows to position it. And control V again, and then keep doing that till you've got about nine different large type stars positioned at random places or wherever you want to put them on the screen. So I'll just do one more like that. Just move it over here. Now what I'm going to do is copy and uh, paste another star and this time I'm going to change that star's dimension to 5 by 5. Okay, um, and you can see when I enter it changes it. Then I'm going to copy it and paste it and then I'm going to move it um, or just uh, select it, sorry, first. Copy and paste it and then I'm going to move it um, to uh, another location and keep doing that keep control V control V until I get an, uh, a sort of interesting uh, star cluster um, you can also uh, copy a section of the screen like that uh, copy control C and V and then move the whole cluster around and this is so that you can quickly build up a multitude of stars. I'll do it again and you place them in another part of the screen. You can build some um, sort of interesting star systems here. Okay. And just one more time, just put it up in the corner there. We don't want to overdo it. And there we have uh, a star system. Okay, going back to the worksheet then, we've built our star system and the next thing we need to do is we need to get all those images from our uh, My Documents folder or Documents folder and put them in the program. Now, if we left them in the folder, we wouldn't have them when we'd copied the program to another computer, so we need to incorporate them into the program. So the next thing we need to do is we need to open up the program, go to a toolbar, go to um, the container, and then pick out an image list. Drop that onto the form. Now we don't need to rename it, but we need to double click on the image list here, and then you can see its properties over the right. Now what we need to do is change that to 50, by 50 uh, and press enter and then you will see um, the collection on here the images and collection you see this uh, little button with three uh, three dots on it click on that and it should open up the image collection editor click add and then you can navigate to your documents and then your folder and then I would put control A um, so it selects them all and open and you can see then we've got an asteroid picture here and all the space shuttle pictures and down to the space station at the end and they're all numbered from zero to nine 
and then press OK. So they're now embedded into the program and when you move the single program file around you will move all those images which are rendered very quickly in the program. So the next thing we need to do then is go back to the worksheet here and it just shows you how to do that down uh, there. And then we need to set up some global variables. Now we're going to take the image 9 and put it into a picture box, which is another, um, uh, another um, component from the toolkit, but we're going to render this in code. So what you need to do is copy these two lines here, just these two lines, not the uh, code above, because that just indicates where it's got to go in the program. So we double click on the blue bar at the top of the form and then we make a space that's where it indicated in the worksheet and press control V and place that code in there this is a picture box which will make a new picture box which we're going to put on the screen the next thing we need to do then is from the worksheet we need to copy including the comments under section G the code from the comments to the uh, last brace there and copy that in to the program but be very careful it must go below these two subroutines here so basically make a space you you got it right when you've got two braces underneath and paste that in now what that will do is that will when we call it will first of all take the image property of a text box and put in image number nine into it set the size of the picture box sorry it's a picture box there and, and set it to 50 by 50 um, the size mode is sent to stretch image but that really means that a large picture will be compressed into the picture box or a smaller image will be stretched into the picture box and place it 900 um, or 900 pixels from the left of the screen and minus 50 from the top so let's ha let's have a look where that's going to be so this is uh, 0 to 700 so the picture is going to be over here it's going to be rendered over here and minus 50 so it goes from 0 to uh, 550 so that's going to be somewhere up here and eventually we're going to animate it so it goes down and off the other side of the picture okay back to the code Notice that there will be an error message here on the space station start because this is going to be a timer that we're going to um, include in the form in a minute. So the next thing we'll do is going to add a timer to the form. So I'm just going to copy, double click on that to, and copy that name there. It's got to be exact. So we go back to um, the form. So select the form tab so you can see the form and then we go to the toolkit go to components again and go down and drag a timer onto the form okay the timer then we need to rename so make sure the timer is selected and you'll see it over here and then we're going to paste in here over timer one we're going to change it to uh, tmr space station um, and make sure there's no spaces before or after it and then press enter now we need to, uh, what will happen is this, is when the program is started and the timer is started, every 10 millis, um, tenth of a second, sorry, um, the actual event, the timer will be triggered. So it's like a stopwatch and that will run a subroutine. So we double click on it, on the actual timer and we can see where the code's going to be placed in. So we go to the worksheet now and copy, including the comments, the code there. Okay, make sure you, um, you encompass the comments and the last braces. Copy it and paste it, control V, into your code. So that's the timer, the setup and the timer um, going. We need one more piece of code now. Um, and basically we've got to set the whole chain of events off so we copy the comments in this piece of code here and following the instructions it will go into the actual form loader which is here if you can't see it go back to the form 
double click on the blue bar here and it will take you straight to it and then you copy that code in there so basically what's going to happen when I hit the run button is it's going to open the form it's going to set off and start set up space station that's going to go down to this subroutine and it's going to go through in sequence all the code there and the last code is to start the timer the timer is going to start that's going to see if the space station is minus 100 from the left of the form that's off to the left here if not it's going to move it four spaces left that's um, and one down from the top and it's going to keep doing that every time it's triggered until it is minus 100 from the left of the form then it's going to do the else statement which is going to remove the space station from the form that's a picture box and it's going to stop the timer so therefore it won't work anymore so now all I need to do is run it and you're going to wait remember the space station is going to be up here so it's going to take a time to come down and onto the form so we're going to run it and see what happens. And there comes the space station and it's going to travel all the way across the form to the other side until um, it reaches a position which is minus 100 from the left of the form. So that's somewhere about here. So when it's um, off to there, then it stops. And that is it. So that's the first lesson. Maybe uh, it says on the worksheet, extension activity is take one of these stars here um, and make sure uh, and make it, animate it, so or change its color for a start to about yellow and make it into a shooting star that goes across there. Um, and all you have to do with that is add another timer. Um, and basically animate whatever that star's called. So you can copy a lot of the code and instead of animating a picture box, you're animating that oval there from the left position and its top position. Okay, that's the end of this particular uh, lesson video. In the next lesson, we're going to look at adding the asteroids to the form.